so I think like there are two turning points, I would say. Um, I think the first one would be when we started off the business. Um, like we when we started the business, um, building a software company out of India was not really considered normal, uh, right? Like everyone was building consumer tech companies, Flipkart was getting uh, major traction. And so when we went to investors and really asked about the fact that like we are going to build like a software SaaS business, uh, everyone was like, are you crazy? Like, why would you do that, um, uh, right? Uh, but I think um, uh, really that was a turning point like um, uh, for us where like, I think we carried through with our conviction quite deeply. Um, all right. Uh, and I think the second turning point was where we started building a horizontal company for the first three years of the business, but then realized that if you are not going to verticalize and if you're not going to really build for one industry, it's going to be very hard to be differentiated and world's number one at something. Um, all right. Uh, and so I think that was like a big realization that came to us um, that uh, in India, a lot of us basically like uh, want to go broad, right? Uh, but global markets really appreciate you being uh, much more specific and um, being uh, very targeted. Uh, so I think that has helped us quite a bit. And it was just such a turning point that we shut down 90% of our business to verticalize like in one industry. At that point, it was incredibly scary. But today, if you look at it, if we did not make that decision, I don't think like we could have become the company that we have ended up becoming. I think uh, the entrepreneurial journey is uh, generally treated as this like glorified thing um, uh, right like that it's all like hunky dory oh my god like unicorn and like all of those sort of like things uh, but it's very hard right like i think uh, no one um, like you're starting off something like uh, the most obvious outcome is that you should fail uh, right like uh, um, and then like i think uh, just going through that cycles over and over and over again right that you're uh, trying to survive every single day trying to build products trying to take it to global markets where not a lot of people basically like believe that high quality software can basically come out of like india and things of that nature uh, um, it was just like i think very hard especially to do as 24, 25, 26 years old, um, uh, right? Like, uh, and so I think like carrying forward with that journey and like, I think uh, having those struggles um, like on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, everyone looks at like, I think, oh my God, like this three, three and a half billion dollar like valuation and all of those sort of like things. Uh, but but that, that's like one day out of like 365 days, right? Like the rest of it is just like incredibly hard. And uh, and so if you're really going to basically pursue entrepreneurship, I would say just like be ready to take punches in your face, like almost all the time. I have like multiple, but um, uh, I, I think like, um, so obviously I think like for all of us, like um, in our generation building technology and software, like Steve Jobs and Elon Musk are like, I think like the two people that like everyone sort of like looks up to, right? Like, and I, I don't think like I'm an exception to that, uh, uh, right? Uh, um, and, and then like um, uh, from like my perspective, I do feel like I think uh, you have to become like your own person. Like um, that is like how we sort of really think about uh, things uh, that every entrepreneurial journey is a very unique experience. And if you try to idealize too much, uh, then you end up making, I think, wrong choices, um, which like are not in the best interest of either the business or for you. Uh, so I think like we, we want to be the best version of ourselves, but like, I think uh, if we look up to someone, like I think uh, maybe like Steve Jobs and um, uh, Elon Musk are the two people that I would say like um, we look up to the most. Maybe, maybe one more question, how do you unwind? Uh, I watch a lot of movies. Like, um, uh, I'm a big Rajnikanth fan. Like, I'm also a big Shah Rukh Khan fan. Uh, um, and um, and like, I think like uh, both me and my wife basically enjoy watching Bollywood movies quite a bit. Uh, so we do that. We travel a ton. I have a two-year-old daughter, Avni, which like uh, is just been like I think such a blessing. And like, I really love spending time with her and playing with her. Uh, um, and uh, I think most of my time today is basically like Avni first and like uh, everything else second. <laughs>